Hello and welcome to our new training video. In this video, I want to present to you our new handheld system, including two safety functions. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. The HGW provides secure redundant data transmissions over 2.4 and 5 GHz channels. It has an integrated battery pack and charges automatically via the base station. With the HGW, you can increase the mobility in the production cell. It eliminates annoying cables and you can couple simple with the machine. You can operate several machines with only one panel. The BWH is the access and charging point for the HGW. It provides a strong performance due to H2 technology processors. It also provides redundant data transmission with 2.4 and 5 GHz. For setting up the connection with the BWH, you use a USB-C cable. Just unscrew the lid and tilt it forward. Then take the USB-C cable and plug it into the USB-C port. You can use the same cable for the connection to the HTW. Tilt the HTW and open the USB protector. Again, take the USB-C cable and plug it into the USB-C port. The BWH communicates to the HTW via Wi-Fi and to the CPU via Ethernet interface. 5 GHz are used as IP10 and 2.4 GHz are used as IP11 interface. For the HTW, you set the IP10 on 192.168.10.2 and, and the IP11 can be set on 192.168.11.2. Set the gateway of the HTW on the IP11 interface of the BWH. The BWH's first Ethernet port can be set on 10.10.150.2. Set IP10 on 192.168.10.1 and IP11 on 192.168.11.1. For the CPU, you just set the default IP of 10.10.150.1 and the gateway to the first Ethernet port of the BWH. Next step is to set up all the configuration files for the CPU, BWH and HGW. You can pause the video to write the configurations down. For the CPU, you just need an autoexec.lsl file. For the BWH, you need an autoexec.lsl as well. Next step is to set up the rsdbd.conf file. Also set up onewireless.conf and onewireless2.conf file. For the HGW, you also need the autoexec.lsl file. Set up one wireless.conf and one wireless2.conf file. Next step is to get connection to the stations and to copy all the configuration files. At first, I want to connect to the BWH. Go to the change online settings, click onto RS232 and click on Serial Finder. Select Start Searching. As soon as it has found the USB interface, select it and click on OK. Then go online and select Tools, Advanced Debug Tools, File Commander.
switch to the separate online connection by clicking yes. On the right side you see your PC's folder where you have saved the configuration files for the BWH. Copy the auto exec by clicking on to copy on the right hand side. Overwrite it. Then switch to the left side and select the folder lslsys. Copy the files rsdbd, wireless and wireless2.conf. Overwrite all three files. Then close the file commander and switch the USB-C connection to the HTW. Go online to the HTW via RS-232. Open the file commander again. Navigate on the right side to your configuration file folder and copy the autoexec. Overwrite it. Then switch to the left side and open the folder lslsys. Copy the wireless and wireless2.conf files in there. Overwrite them. Close the file commander again and set up the RS-232 connection to the CPU. Open the file commander and navigate to the configuration file folder. Just overwrite the auto exec on the CPU. After this, you just have to reboot every station. Once you have set up everything by the USB connection, I will show you how to switch to an IP connection. Just go to your PC network settings and choose the BWH Wi Fi. Select the button Connect using a network security key instead to fill in your BWH security key. If you have chosen the same key as me, then you have to enter 1234567.8. Then just connect to the Wi Fi of the BWH. This may take a few moments. If you got connection, go to the Change Online Settings configuration window and set up the station for the BWH using the 192.168.11.1 IP address. After you have set it up, just go online. Next step is to configure the HTW station. Use the 192.168.11.2 IP address and go online. For the connection to the CPU, you have to set up a route on your PC. Just open the command window as administrator and set the following command. Route add 10.10.150.1 minus p Switch back to LaSalle and set up the station in the Change Online settings using the 10.10.150.1 IP address. Then go online. Last part is to set up the Machine Manager solution using the HGW template. Therefore, you go to New Solution and select the HTW template. Choose your solution name and the location. Next step is to set up the online connection and the resolution of the HTW. Click on to Next and set up the online connection for the CPU. Last part is to set up the online connection for the BWH. Then click on OK and the solution will be created. This will take a few moments.
After the solution is created, you can add the safety project to the machine control station. Do a right click on it and choose Add Safety Project. Select the safety project from the machine manager's machine control station. Open up the safety project and set up the hardware. Make sure to select the right SDS place for the SCP. Then go online to the SCP and download the safety project. Switch back to the Machine Manager solution. Also go online to all the stations and download and run everything. Just note that the safety project must be downloaded separately. This is shown in the Machine Manager as a red line. If you have everything downloaded, you can switch to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the base station. After this, you can couple the stations. You click on the lock button. Next step is to select the machine number and click on OK. Then it is coupling to the machine and you will see a blink code on the BWH. This blink code you have to enter on the HGW. Then the stations are coupled and you can test the emergency stop. 